Hey guys, this is Andrei Smirnov coming to you from the 2017 New York Auto Show. And I'm at the 2018 Dutch Challenger SRT Demon debut event. And what an event it was. Burnouts, a boosted launch, and we learned a lot of numbers. I caught up with Tim Kuniskis, CEO of Dodge, to find out more details and to count down the hidden Easter eggs in the Demon and also talk about some of the details and that's coming up right now. Okay, let's talk numbers for a second. The Demon is powered by a unique modified 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8. Top power number is 840 horsepower in full-on drag race mode. It's backed up by an 8-speed automatic transmission with transmission brake and it's got Nitto drag radial tires which limit the top speed of the uh, Demon to 168 miles an hour. But here are the big numbers. 2.3 seconds, zero to 60, which is the best for any production car. 9.65 second quarter mile, which is really insane for a production car. And 140 mile an hour in the quarter mile. Those are enormous numbers. And this car has a lot of technology to back up those claims. So we just went through the whole full reveal of the car, so you know most of the stats. But let me share a couple of the Easter eggs with you that, quite honestly, were hiding in plain sight all along. Okay. And some people caught them, some people didn't. One of my favorites is where the Hellcat badge usually is, is actually a 3D badge of the Demon. Now, the significance of this is the badge is always a line drawing and doesn't give you an image of what the demon would look like as, say, a humanoid or something like that. Yeah. So that's the only place that you see anything like that that represents what it really is that made the line drawing. And if you're a Star Wars fan, you'll see immediately that's Han Solo frozen in carbonite. Okay. So the demon is frozen coming out of the Hellcat. So a nice little Easter egg that we planned. Okay. Um, Talk about the hood real quick and the, kind of the cool. The, the other thing on the hood is to make power, you need air. And you need big, air, good, dense, cold air. So we have the largest functional hood opening on any production car ever. Plus, it's sealed to the air box here. And you have two air catchers, the headlight air catchers, and the box is ducted underneath. All of that combined is 1150 CFM of airflow. On top of that, you gotta have cold air. So it's the first car ever where we change the air conditioning system. When you're in drag mode, it actually has a separate evaporator in the secondary cooling loop, which super cools the fluid. So when you're in drag mode, your car is gonna run 45 degrees colder than it could. So no ice required. No ice required, hence the name. Um, another cool Easter egg is we have a thing on the windshield that we call the frit, and it's a little design on the windshield. Yeah. This has been visible before, and what it is is the Demon wide body doing a burnout, obviously. Uh, but before we announced the wide body, people had seen that and never figured out that's what that was. The fenders on it. Right? The fenders on yeah. it. Now, probably the most unbelievable Easter egg that nobody figured out was very early on we showed that there was no back seat. Now, you know now that it's an option. The passenger seat's an option, the back seat's an option. But when we showed the car with no back seat, we showed the plate. That knockout plate is designed to allow you to install the harness bar without making any modifications to the inside of your car. But what nobody figured out was on that plate is a picture of the demon doing a wheelie. So it's been hiding in plain sight that the car will pull the front end since as soon as we launched the fact that it didn't have a rear seat. So if you 
you add a seat, you could also add the second set of seat belts. Is that right? Yes. You add the For seat. The front. You, you add the seat. You get the seat belts. You can add the front seat, either front seat or back seat. You can add for just a dollar. Okay. And these seats are basically this similar to Hellcat. Very similar to the Hellcat. Um, we have a very grippy material here. Obviously, you're pulling a lot of G-forces, so the standard seat is cloth. You can option up to a Laguna and Alcantara if you want, which matches the Alcantara wheel and the door panel insert when you get the leather car. Yeah, I know, I know. You're probably wondering about the price of the Demon. And Tim says pricing information will be available in about two months from now. So, sorry, no price on the Demon quite yet. But there, it's a limited run of cars. 3,000 units built for 2018 model year for United States and 300 cars for Canada. One of the other things that just recently has become known is people were concerned about the flares on the wheel wells. They were afraid that it might be a stick-on tape application on a stock body. What we really did was, before we send the car to E-Coat, we actually computer clearance, laser clearance, both the front and back wheel wells, then mechanically fasten, bolt on these flares with a strengthening bar. This is literally a mechanical attached part of the car. Very solid, not going anywhere. From day one, we wanted to make sure that that was very durable. A couple of things you don't notice from immediately is the front splitter's different and the back spoiler's different. Um, it has less drag than a normal Hellcat, obviously for the drag strip. And the car is speed rated to 168 miles an hour because that's the speed rating of the tires. And it was critical for us to have this particular tire because it was designed for this car. Tuned specifically for the Demon by Nitto, and they're actually branded. If you look at the tire, you'll see the Demon logo on the tire. These tires are only available at our dealerships to owners of Demons. So just like a Hellcat, you, this is funny, you have a valet mode and an eco mode. Probably the most interesting thing about eco mode is, for the hell of it, we tested that in the quarter mile too. In eco mode, it runs 11.57 in the quarter mile. Then with your red key, it puts out 808 horsepower and 717 pound-feet of torque. And then with your red key and high-octane fuel, it puts out 840. And the most important number that people need to remember is 770 pound-feet of torque. You're moving a full weight, 4,200-pound car. The torque is the most important number. Well, if you look at the engine in a Hellcat, the Hemi engine has always been Hemi orange. This one, if you notice, is actually Demon Red. And the reason it's Demon Red is because it's actually a new engine. This is not a modified version of a Hellcat engine. This is a deck plane honed block, new crankshaft specific to Demon, new connecting rods, new pistons, new camshaft, new valve train, and a new larger 2.7 liter supercharger. So it's basically an all new engine, save for the cylinder heads. And talk briefly about the crate option. What does that give you? The crate option gives you all the tools. We wanted from day one for this to be a street strip muscle car. A car that you could drive to the track, put in race fuel, put on front runners, and lay down amazing times. But to do that, it needed to be capable of doing all that. So we have a kit put together that holds all of those parts in the trunk of your car, designed not to move around, everything strapped down. Your front runners, your torque wrench, your impact gun, and your aluminum demon jack. So everything you need to go racing literally straps down inside of your car, get to the track, change your wheels, put in race fuel, run it faster than any production car's ever run, put the wheels and tires back on, drive home, and people don't realize this, when you drive home, it's an amazing compliant car. Put it in sport mode, and it'll pull over one G on the skid pad. It will also break in 97 feet from six to zero. So it's every bit of the high performance street car and drag car at the same time, depending on how you set it up. Go back to tflcar.com for more news, views, and real world reviews, and of course, a lot more coverage from the 2017 New York Auto Show. Thanks, guys. Thank you.